how good do those look? Fresh baked goods. Are you craving a snack? That is the topic today. We're joined once again by Natasha here at Natural Food Pantry, lead educator, nutritionist. School's almost out. We've got the kids home, the summer months, uh, and that's what you're going to hear because sometimes they're going to be bored and what do they do? They want to eat. Right. Yes. Right. All day long. <laughs> All I'm day. hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, there's ways to be able to do this though. I mean, and granted, sometimes they're going to want some of the sugar, some of the treats, but there are ways to go about it to be able to get them to have a more nutritional value, less sugar over the course of the day. Well, yeah, I think for one thing, it's really important to ensure that they are getting the nutrition first. So with my kids, I have three kids mm -hmm. and we'll negotiate. If they want something kind of sweet, kind of outside of the norm, then they need to eat the healthy stuff first. You know, they need to get the nutrition in. So fruits, veggies, mm -hmm. those are essential as part of their day, right? And there's so many fun, creative things you can do with fruit. You can make kebabs. I saw a recipe for fruit necklaces that you can make. Um, you can do fruit sandwiches and pizzas and all kinds of really cool things. And to ensure a full spectrum of color is really important too. The rainbow, colored, right? Yeah, the <laughs> rainbow. Different colored fruits and veggies are important because they contain different nutrients. One thing to consider. Now, here I've been overwhelmed by the selection, by the change, and just shifting of attitude a little bit when you're buying some of these products of what it is exactly that you're getting because still they taste great but there is that added value or taking out some of the the bad ingredients that we don't want to see there let's go through this table because I found it to be like from A to Z of what you can find here yeah yeah and this is only a small selection I know of what we have <laughs> starting over here we have all kinds of different chips we have the traditional chips like the kettle chips and the boulder chips but these are some unique kind of chips these here are some puffs that are made with moringa or jackfruit there's different varieties there's some with cauliflower and they taste just like cheesies they're incredible they're made from healthier ingredients right and then you've got the bean chips that are like a corn tortilla chip but they're made with bean as well as corn and these are potato pretzel puffs they're really cool. They come in different flavors. I'm uh, trying not to open up every single <laughs> <laughs> bag of chips here. Uh, and then down to even just different crackers. Uh, and the fact too is that you can, you can dip. Either you're dipping them with vegetables, but you have the dips and you have some of the creams that you're not gonna find in typical stores. Yeah, yeah, well there's a whole variety of hummuses. We have our own homemade hummuses as well as other brands of hummus. This is a cauliflower hummus that's made with cauliflower instead of beans for people on a ketogenic diet or a lower, lower carb diet. And this is a vegan cream cheese. So we have regular cheeses, mm -hmm. but we also have the vegan option. It's made with cashew and they are fantastic. As more and more people are changing and shifting the way that they eat or, or choosing to go a certain diet, like you mentioned with the keto or going vegan, they, it's a learning process. It right, is. there's certain foods that they might be missing or certain foods that they're looking to duplicate in other ways. And th these are perfect examples. Those are perfect examples. Mm -hmm. And they can also come into the store and get advice from our nutritionists because we have nutritionists on staff every day mm -hmm. to help people out with those specific dietary needs or concerns. Especially if they're making the adjustments or making the changes, yeah. it can be incredibly overwhelming. It can be overwhelming. Okay, so we, we're going with a nice, healthy kind of keto broccoli uh, cauliflower hummus and then next to it I've got marshmallows so let's <laughs> let's break this down Natasha because you've kind of made a, an interesting combination here this was my s'more <laughs> summer s'mores right right what have you done well you know kids are going to be camping and they're, they'll go to the cottage and they're still going to want to eat their s'mores so these are not healthy foods, but they are cleaner. They don't have all the chemical ingredients that traditional marshmallows have in them. Uh, the chocolates are made from dark chocolate. So why not make it a little healthier and a little less full of sugar right. and hydrogenated oils? They don't need to know. I'm sorry, Natasha, but you can hand these marshmallows over with the, with the crackers and the chocolate. They don't need you to know exactly know. all the differences, you but know. you know. Yeah. They're incredible. And then there's some candies okay. that are again made from natural ingredients and natural flavors. So they don't have the chemicals in them. So if they're gonna have a birthday party, if they're gonna have a pool party and they really wanna have some kind of candy, I would say go for these. Okay, I was shocked at this one. Yeah, they have the black and the red licorice and they are delicious. So I, I always had such a bad, like that a negative connotation when it came to the some of the licorice products that are out there, but these don't have a lot of the bad ingredients in them. That's right, might. that's right. You would be shocked at some of the ingredients that are found in conventional candy. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna go there. Okay, <laughs> I did say I wanted to open one thing. Yeah. What is this? We call it astronaut food. The expiry date is 2043, so it's freeze-dried fruits and veggies. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm on. totally opening this, I had to. Ah. Okay, and what am I gonna taste? 
Oh, you're going to taste concentrated strawberries. So some people will add them to their granola. Mm -hmm. Some people will add it to a trail mix. There's different trail mixes that you can buy already prepared. Or you can go into our bulk section and get nuts and seeds and do your own mix. Okay, you know what it tastes like? What does it taste I'm like? I'm so excited right now. <laughs> it tastes like a fruit roll-up. Really? It tastes like a strawberry fruit roll-up. But it's, it's, it's awesome. Oh my God, these are so good. I find they taste like Fruit Loops or the, exactly. the marshmallows and Lucky Charms. Oh or my God, freeze dried strawberries. This is pretty cool. I think the kids would have a ton of fun with this one to play around. Yeah, and there's raspberries, blueberries. Oh my God. There's even green peas. Oh my God, I'm, I'm picking some up. Kids, <laughs> the kids are going to be going through these ones for sure. Awesome. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, drinks. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of drinks available. Everything from regular bottled water to flavored waters. Uh, waters that are flavored with natural natural flavors and stevia as a sweetener like the Zevia. There's all kinds of different flavors. La Croix water is really popular right now. It's a flavored water as well. Um, and then uh, you know what? I saw a lot of people coming in for this. Yeah. Why is it so popular? What's there's just so many different flavors. It's mm -hmm. fun food, uh, great for parties, for backyard barbecues, picnics, that kind of thing. Okay. And then a lot of the kids are going to be on the go. So yeah. they're running out. They've got soccer tournaments. They're out on the, at the park all day. Like grab and go. You've got, I, I looked, there's aisles of it. Yeah. So what do you recommend? Like what are your favorites? Well, I think it's really important when choosing snacks to look for something that has some protein and some fat in it. A lot of the traditional snacks that you'll find in the grocery store are very high in sugar. And sugar's not going to fuel them very long. It'll give them that initial spike of energy yeah. and a crash, right? So you want to have the fat and the protein to, to, to sustain them. So something with nuts and seeds in it, like the Lara bars and the nut and seed bars. Um, this is a really cool, uh, good fat bar. It's loaded with good fat. So that's going to sustain them much longer. They'll, they'll have that longer stretch of energy. Okay, so there are products out there that taste good, yeah. that are allowing them to be active to stay kind of at that nice blood sugar, blood sugar level throughout the course of the day, um, but that they're gonna feel like they can constantly come and grab because right. they're gonna be snacking throughout the entire day. That's right, mm -hmm. and not just kids, but adults no, too. No, yes. Now, we might not have, I might not have baked because people know I'm not quite the baker, <laughs> but your bakery does. There's a bakery on hand here at the Barhaven location. What have they made here for us? So we have a whole assortment of cookies here. Uh, some are gluten-free, some are vegan. These muffins are actually low-carb muffins. So we cater to the vegan, demographic, the ketogenic, the paleo, the different dietary uh, allergies, you know, mm -hmm. people with allergies, with gluten allergies, dairy allergies. Um, so really nice variety of products and it changes on a daily basis. In the cafe, we'll also be offering smoothies and, uh, and, and cafe foods as well, yeah. sandwiches. Come in, just have a coffee. I think that's the best part about it. Yeah. The quick things that you want people to take from this because they are uh, right around the corner. The kids are gonna be out of school for the next, uh, next two months. <gasps> um, just how to stay sane, how to stay sane in the kitchen. What do you do? You've got three kids. Stay on top of it, keep, you know, be prepared. Make sure you have a good stock of snacks. Keep them hidden if you need to, <laughs> otherwise they all go in one day, yeah. right? And think ahead, so meal planning is really important. Taking a couple hours twice a week, I, I do it on Sundays and Wednesdays, to do a little food prep. You know, bake, bake something yourself, uh, make some great fat bombs or some power balls or uh, I've got some great recipes for freezer fudge, av avocado oh. mousse, you know, there's all kinds of really fun stuff that you can make and get the kids involved. That's the best thing too, yeah. is once they feel like they're a part of it, they're good. You've got recipes, everything on hand at naturalfoodpantry.ca. Website has a ton of things. There's cookbooks here, and of course, the nutritionists on hand come ask the questions. That's right. Okay, Natasha, thank you so much. Thank you. Once again, naturalfoodpantry.ca.